Welcome to the Joyride channel. If you're just joining us, we recently picked up a 1963 C10 from an estate sale that was left abandoned in a field. The previous video, we got her started and discovered a few issues with the carb and overheating. So here we are now trying to get her roadworthy so we can finally take her out for that first drive. What are you making, huh? That looks like potatoes. That's what I'm making, potatoes. So we need to order some parts for the C10. Okay. You gonna help me order parts? Yeah, I'll tell you what to get. Really? What are we getting? You need a radiator. We're gonna look on here. So if you guys have never been to Rock Auto, this is where I get a bunch of parts. The Chevy 1963, that's C10 pickup. Cooling yeah. 3.8. Cooling radiator, $128, and that's for a factory replacement radiator. I'm gonna look on eBay and see what other prices we can get on radiators, but right now we need thermostat, thermostat housing, and see Rock Auto's website, it's like, it's weird because it's like you're just clicking on a bunch of files, it's not any like super flashy website. Baby, so, so if we go on eBay, I wonder if we do look over on eBay, Ooh, you know what we should look up? Um, let's try this. Airbags. Yeah. Why? Because I like it like a baby. It's almost as much as you pay for the truck. Look at that one. What? You said that's almost as much as I paid for the truck? <laughs> Alright, so I got everything in my car. It's the lower radiator hose, we've got the upper. And we also have the thermostat, carburetor, and thermostat housing. And I don't know why I added two different housings there, but I removed that one. So that's why it says zero. So our total is 165 for all that. That's with the carb, everything. So we're gonna go ahead, place the order. No, I'm actually thinking about ordering that radiator, this one on eBay. It's $120.68 and i don't know it's kind of ordering stuff on ebay is just kind of like uh, is it, what do you think should i because that's like the same price as a factory replacement but that's like an aluminum i don't know i always always get scared when ordering stuff off of ebay can you return it yeah it says returns accepted all right so we'll try it now it's the waiting game we're gonna just wait for these parts to show up and then put them on the truck and just go from there and just to forewarn you guys, I don't know anything about carbs, so hopefully I can get a buddy of mine to come over and help me adjust the carb once we get that put on and set up and go from there. What, buddy? You wanna help me order parts? You wanna get some airbags for the truck? Yeah, I wanna help you put them on too. Okay, you can do that. So what do you think about airbags, Ben? Nah. What? Do you wanna put airbags on the truck? All right. Can you make an airbag sound for us? He wants airbags, babe. If you get them, I'm always gonna ride with him. Uh. So are you giving me permission to get them? All right. He just knocked something down, but we're gonna pick up this vlog probably in the next couple days. We'll give it a few days for all the parts to show up that we ordered, and we're gonna pick this vlog back up in a few days once everything shows up. What do you think, bud? And get everything put on the truck, and then hopefully we'll get you that first drive because that's what I'm waiting for. Aren't you? Yeah. It's gonna be so excited. Well, I think we have everything in that we ordered from Rock Auto. We've got our radiator hoses, the upper, lower hose, thermostat, thermostat housing, the carb. This big box right here is the radiator that we ordered and I'm super excited to see that. Well, this wasn't from Rock Auto. This was actually from eBay. We're gonna open all this stuff up and see what we have. There's the thermostat housing. Put that back in there. Thermostat. Oh look, we got two carburetors. Ooh, we got the Mustang magnet. I don't think I've got this one. If you've ordered from Rock Auto before, you already know about the magnet. Hey, you're messing up my filming. All right, you can walk by. You can walk by, hurry up. I'll, I'll edit this part out. Not really. Where's my Starbucks? Maybe you just want to be home, otherwise I would have brought you Starbucks. Oh my gosh. This thing's gonna be like the nicest looking thing on the truck. The truck's gonna be all crappy looking, but she's gonna have a pretty radiator. She fits. Upper. That's gonna be an issue. Let me check that thermostat. 
Yeah, I mean, that's that's obviously right. Right there like that, but obviously we're gonna have to get like a reducer, something that goes from one inch and three quarter to inch and a half. You'll run into this issue a lot, especially when you start doing aftermarket parts and going with stuff that isn't factory. 5 16 fuel line. Yeah, we're gonna do a custom overflow tank. It's gonna be cool. Put that one in another video because I want that to kind of be like its own video. I guess what we're gonna do is tackle the car first. I'd like to really paint this thing. Might have to do that later. Someone commented because I left this wing nut. It was sitting on the car right there while it was idling and somebody was like, please take that thing off. If it were to fall in there, you're gonna destroy your engine. I didn't even think about it, honestly. Stuff like that in the videos when people comment things and to, because I didn't even think of that. Thank you to whoever commented that because that would have been a bad day. Sometimes, you know, comments that may seem negative, sometimes, you know, people are just trying to look out for you. I'm sure there's gonna be a few comments in this video, people are gonna be like, dude, why didn't you do that? Or this. Or every time I hit the, the throttle, it would just sound like an air, like a vacuum leak. A lot of people were like, oh, it's the carb. Oh, you need a carb rebuild kit. You need to replace the accelerator pump, which the accelerator pump is inside the carb. So once we replace this new carb, essentially we replace the accelerator pump as well. Once we get all this fixed, then we're going to get to the part what you guys came here for the video, the first official drive in the C10. So we may have to throw some farm tags on it, but we, we'll just hit these little roads right here right by my house. We'll be fine. We will get an official first drive, and once everything is all good, we're going to slowly start fixing it up. I posted on Instagram the other day that I was thinking about throwing bags on it just to see what you guys thought. I'll post the poll right up here. More people were leaning towards the bags, but comment in the comment section. What do you guys think? Should we do bags? Laura says no. I say yes. I got to replace the suspension anyways, and I've always wanted to bag the GT500. I just never got around to doing it. So many people has told me not to do it. I was going to ruin the car. I've wanted to do it so bad to the GT500, but I think I'm going to get that out of my system with this. I because I, I know a lot of people want to see me restore it back to original. Laura likes the ratty look. Truck is nowhere near perfect. And I don't think I told you guys what we paid for this. Once we get this thing up going on the road, I'm going to do another video of a full breakdown of everything invested, including the parts and everything that I put into this from the time I bought it from the estate sale to getting it on the road. That is another video I want to do. So if you guys are new and you this is one of your first few videos of watching. I made a C10 playlist, so I'll have all my C10 videos organized in one playlist. So if you wanna go back from day one of getting the truck up until now and then future videos, they'll be all in one playlist organized so you guys can go back and watch. It's gonna be exciting because we're gonna to have tons. It's gonna to be endless. There's so much we can do. Once we get all the mechanics and good working order, then that's when we'll kind of focus on more of the appearance and stuff like that because I definitely wanna replace the fender on the other side. I need a new driver's side door, new side step. I don't know, maybe a whole new bed. I don't know. If anyone has any spare parts or anything for these trucks, please DM me. Probably easier to get a hold of on Facebook because my Instagram DMs get a little out of hand sometimes. Let's get to work so we can finally take this thing out for its first official drive. I cannot wait. So remember the hose that did not fit on there. Inch and a half, this is inch and three quarter. What I needed is, was a reducer. So I went over to AutoZone, which the guy over at AutoZone was super helpful. He let me walk in the back and just look at all their hoses. And I found this hose and you can see how it's flared. That's where it would connect to the radiator and then see how it's flared right there and then it reduces back down to inch and a half i'm not going to cut it yet until we get it on there if anybody decides to order this radiator and they run into the same issue that right there is your part number for the hose and i believe this hose was like 15 bucks that's pretty much how it's going to be so far that is the only issue that i have ran into with this we will see once we decide to get it in there because it is quite a bit bigger You can't do that with new vehicles. You can't get in there with the engine, right? There's a lot of extra space in there. Room for a bigger engine or a turbo? You think? Yes, get on. Got all my fittings in there. So now it's time to set the carb. She looks good on there. Battery is going dead, so we're gonna have to swap this battery. 
we're gonna put this one back in. All right, wow, that's bright. All right, back to work. I'm gonna slide you guys back into this mount. Now it's just putting things back together. The fuel line. Close that up for right now while we tackle the radiator. So anytime on something old like this, I do recommend changing the hoses, even though that those hoses seem to look fine. I'm gonna just change them anyway while I'm already in there. I'm gonna pull the bottom hose off and just start draining. Oh. Uh, that might have got a little bit on the driveway. No thermostat. Here's a new thermostat. There was no thermostat in here before, but normally if you're going to install a thermostat, you would just reinstall it the same way the one was that you took off. But this end right here usually opens up once your car gets over, I guess, like 180 or 160 degrees, depending on which thermostat you got. So this one is an AC Delco one. This opens and it basically lets coolant come in and you always want to put this end towards your block. I'm going to put the new gasket on. Oh, you getting camera shy? Hey, buddy. Poor guy. All right, are you gonna take the truck for a drive once we finish this up? So I just got the new thermostat and thermostat housing in. The hose there kind of hold it into place. I'm gonna set the camera down under here, close the hood, and see if it touches. I'm gonna try to close it slow, just so you guys and the camera can focus. We might be good with that. Okay, a little bit of update. Make a quick run to Lowe's and we're gonna joyride rig this thing Some bracket we got So once we get these brackets all rigged up, we're painting them with some high heat black paint Make it look a little bit better What we're gonna do mount There on here. I'm just gonna rig this up show you guys once it's done. It's dark out and I'm still working on this Sometimes things never go the way that you plan. Painted those bolts black. I used a high heat, like an engine paint, grill paint, same thing. Those are basically just L brackets if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's. Now we have no radiator, no brackets in yet. But the cool thing about watching YouTube videos, you don't have to sit here through this entire process that may take a couple days, but here you go. Well, so I've got the bracket in there. I need to clean that up a little bit, but we ran into another issue because once I filled up the radiator, it wasn't circulating, so we're replacing the water pump. Hopefully this time it'll solve our issue. I ran into another issue. See all this leakage right here? Brake pedal. The master cylinder is leaking, so I got a new one coming and that will be in in the morning. Basically spending all week because every time I order parts, I gotta wait a day. It puts everything off a day. I apologize for the lack of videos because normally I try to get at least one to two videos out a week. Not like a bunch of other YouTubers where they actually have people working on their cars for them. I don't have that. I'm actually doing all the work myself. Chevy Tom was supposed to help me, but I don't know what happened to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing buttoned up with the radiator. Fits, we made it work. How long has it been? And how much have I been stressing? Yeah, every day. Every day, like trying to get this thing going. But we got it. We're good now, right? I guess. What, I what do you think, Hulk? Where's your mask? Um. Your radiator looks so good. You can see it right through the grill. That's like the cleanest thing on there, but let's pop the hood and show everybody. The choke is still on a little bit. That's why the idle's up high. Temperature gauge seems to be doing good. It's been running for a little bit. She idles good. She sounds good. I mean, I'm sure she's gonna need a little bit of adjustment to her. Oh, I replaced the uh, master cylinder. All that's probably gonna get replaced anyways when I go and decide to redo the brake. I want to convert everything over to disc brake. Oh, it's the Hulk! Let me, hey, let me see you in front of the truck. Look at that. That's Logan's Halloween costume. Did you go trick or treating today? 
So we got a new water pump on there and a new bell. Thermostat, thermostat housing. We're ready to take it for a ride. You ready? I love the patina look that the hood's got. All right, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Finally taking this thing for a drive. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Well, why does the radio go here? But... All right, let's roll. Buckle up. I don't have a buckle. All right. Oh. What was that? Yeah, it's stalled out. <laughs> All right. Maybe we should. Carb definitely needs to be tuned. Uh, what, what do you do to adjust the car? I literally just drove it down the drive and it was like perfect. I think it's the head gasket. I think the head gasket on this thing is blown. Either gonna swap the engine because- How much is the head gasket? It's not the price. It's just the work that you gotta go through. You gotta pretty mm -hmm. much take the engine apart. Three point uh, seven. All right. Well, the good thing is- uh, Yeah, but do your brakes really work? Yeah, <laughs> see? Okay. They're not gonna not- Babe, do you think I would put you guys in this truck if the brakes didn't work? I don't know. Someone did comment on your other video and then they said you pull your truck away from the house for the first start in case it catches on fire, but then you put your whole family in it. But it didn't catch on fire. Hmm. Liam likes that. Yeah, he 
keeps does laughing. He? he keeps laughing at that. We're just coasting. See, we're going downhill and the brakes work. We're just gonna coast back into the driveway. And she's done. All right. There was the first drive. She needs some more work, doesn't she? A little bit. Hey, but we're getting there. We're slowly getting her there. We need to get this thing completely in good work in order to where like, we can just basically just go out and just drive it. I'm thinking I got a head gasket issue because I've tackled all the cooling and it's still starting to overheat again, so. That's leading me to believe that there's a head gasket leak. And then I've been talking with my buddy, uh, Rat Rod Mike. And we're going to hopefully do some videos with him. And he's going to help us out with this thing. But I'm thinking that we probably have a head gasket leak. So if we do, what should we swap into it? I know a lot of people want to see Coyote swap. But honestly, a Coyote swap really is not in the budget. I'm trying to keep this a budget build. Cheap, yeah. And Coyote swap really wouldn't be in the budget and ls swap might be i was looking at you know like a small block 350 something like that i don't know hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're new to the channel definitely hit that subscribe button we're going to do a lot more videos with the c10 and get this thing road worthy right now she's running she drives she can move but she's just not it needs to be adjusted and i'm going to be honest i don't know a lot about Carb adjustment. The carb stuff is new to me, so let me know what you guys think of the C10, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.